National disgrace. And not on the table, for heaven's sakes. Oh, they're not sneakers, they're running shoes. Oh, pardon me. Off, off, off. Oh. Charles, didn't you tell me that you knew a Daisy Dallinger when you worked at Camp Weijin last summer? Mm-hmm. Why? Uh -huh. I'm certainly glad you don't see her anymore. I am really surprised Daisy that Dallinger, the paper would even yours? run such an Elderberry. Hour. Charles Elderberry. Hi, Elderberry. How come I haven't seen you around here before? Charles. Charles. Would you believe this? Miss Daisy Dallinger. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Miss Daisy Dallinger. <laughs> Hi, Elderberry. How come I haven't seen you around here before? Well, I work over in the kitchen. I just started laughing. Oh! <laughs> You're really funny. Well, maybe you can stop by the craft tent later. Miss Daisy Dallinger, a son. Right here in the papers, big as you please. A son. What? A baby. Announced it right here in the paper. <laughs> oh, it's, it's my ride. I've got to go to work. Now, listen, honey. Remember, I have got school tonight, so you have to fix your own supper. Hey, anything wrong? Oh, no. Well, we can talk about it tonight, if there is. Bye-bye. Dallinger. It's Daisy Dallinger, the son. To really understand Romeo and Juliet, we must place the play in historical perspective. Authorities believe that. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's you. Well, you're expecting Robert Redford. No, no, I didn't mean it that way. It's just my father does stuff like that. Sneaking around, spying on me. Always on my back. Yours that way, too? No. My, my dad's really great. Not that I ever get to see him that much. He's, um, he's a mining engineer in South America. Really? No. <laughs> I just made it up. I've never seen him. Not since I was two, anyway. My parents are divorced. Gee, I wish mine were. Really? You know, my mom's OK. But you wouldn't believe my father. I'm glad you stopped by, Elderberry. Words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love honorable, thy purpose marriage. Charles. Charles. The, uh, the three words. Marriage, who me? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Funny. Would you right. like to come to my birthday party? Oh, I can't tonight. I work at Farley's. Not tonight. It's three weeks from today. You're never serious, are you? Ah, uh, I'd like that. I said, I'd like that. that. That's a yes. Charles! Farley's got you bagging for Macho Muriel, the big M again. Oh, Jeff, does it take nine months to have a baby? Not if you're an elephant. Oh, come on, get serious, would you? Sure, nine months. Exactly, I think. It's not exactly hot dinner conversation in my house. Nine months, you're sure. 
Look, can I borrow your car tonight on my dinner break? Sure, I guess. What's up? Nothing, just something I gotta do. Hey, Charles! Hey, Charles, wait! Charles, I gotta see about Herbert. Charles! Hi, golly, my daughter and... Oh, well, Herbert here, of course. Just made me a new grandfather. What do you think about that? Uh, that's... Uh, congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, you wouldn't be interested in my old sports car, would you? Interested? Are you kidding? Well, you're not really gonna sell it, are you? You got $1,200? Sure, if Jeff will owe me some money. Well, then you let me know. I sure would hate to see it go, but, well, with the new baby and all, Dad thinks a four-door is more appropriate. Right, Dad? Right, Herbert. Well, back to work. Boy, would I love to get that car. Yeah, but $1,200? Charles! I like you to be late. You know, there are a lot of kids who'd give their right arm to have a great job of bagging groceries here at Farley's. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Farley. Really, it won't happen again. I'm not used to packing my own bags, kid. I'm sorry, I got caught up with Mr. Farley. Yeah, yeah. your car. Now? During work? You know, if Farley catches you, don't worry. He won't. All right. Everything out. I saw what you did. Look what you put the bread on. Would you look at the tomatoes? Is your brain out to lunch? Repack it. That'll be two bucks. Two bucks? Just to park? It's a hospital. Dr. Seidelman, line one, please. Dr. Seidelman. Dr. Jones. Dr. Klein, paging Dr. Klein. Which baby? Dallinger. I said visiting hours are over, young man. Oh, well, I just got here, and I'd kind of like to see Daisy and I... You mean Miss Dallinger? Just what is your relationship to Miss Dallinger? Her name, please. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm just a friend. Yeah, um, I'm just her friend. I'm just her friend. <laughs> You living in Brockton, we probably won't see each other as much. But there'll still be weekends and stuff. And I'm gonna write you. We can talk on the phone. No. What do you mean, no? Are you ever gonna get married? I don't know. Maybe someday, I guess. I mean... Look, Elderberry, don't write me. Don't call me. I don't ever want to see you again. What the heck is the matter with you? Farley knows you've been gone. Sorry. I, uh, 
had to go to the hospital. Hospital? What hospital? What happened? She never even told me she was going to have a baby. You want to start over again? What baby? Whose baby? Mine. That'll be two dollars. might have known you'd be the one disturbing my mother's. Now, look, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave, and I mean right now. No, it's okay. He can stay. Dr. Karen, well, 305, just a few minutes. No longer. 305, well, come on, if you're coming. Pull the curtain unless you want to be stared at the whole time. Here, it's a carnation. Thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I only did it so you wouldn't find out about the baby. Why'd you put the announcement in the paper? Oh, you saw it, huh? I thought the miss was a stroke of sheer genius. I only did it to get back at my father. He threw me out of the house, you know. Why? Where'd you go? Why didn't you call me? Well, I got back in after a week, with my mom bugging him all the time. You know, my brother was siding with my father. Can you imagine? I guess I just made a mess of the whole family for a while. I didn't even know that you were... Uh... Pregnant? Well, I was. Didn't you take any precautions? You were there, did you? No. I always thought the girls were supposed to. Yeah, and I always thought the guys were. Not that it matters much now. Dr. Skyer to emergency. Dr. Skyer to emergency. So what do you say? I saw him last night. Boy, is he beautiful. All of those little fingers, <laughs> those little eyes. You can tell just by looking at him that he's superior. One more word about that baby and I'll scream. Don't you know anything stupid? They never let you see the baby when you're giving him away. Giving him away? Now look, if you're going to disturb the mothers, you're going to have to leave. It's OK. Sorry. What do you mean, giving him away? Don't you know anything? Don't you know what it costs to raise a kid these days? Send him to school? Or even buy him clothes? I'm still living at home. Where am I going to get that kind of money? My father? Fat chance I have of that. But Daisy, he's our baby. I've known that for longer than you have. Remember? Those nine months. Look, I'm giving him away because some family is willing to take on my son and raise him and give him the best chance in life. Right. Sure, they'll take him on. They'll give him their name, too. They, they won't call him Charles. No, no, they'll, they'll call him Herbert, like that guy at the supermarket, probably. I don't care what they call him. He'll have a family, he'll be loved, and he'll have a mother and father. Dr. Kian, 305, long distance. Dr. Now, Kian, look, I warned you, young man. Out! Distance. Right now!
How long is she gonna keep going to school? Until she gets her degree, I guess. It's about another year. Mm -hmm. Want a sandwich? Sure. So who's the girl? The mother, I mean. Oh, she lives in Brockton. I met her when I worked at Camp Legion and you don't know her. Well, how'd you get pregnant? I don't know. You took precautions, didn't you? Well, sort of. How sort of? Well, uh, we didn't use anything, but that's not the problem. The problem is that now that she's had the baby, she wants to give it away. Adoption? It's a good idea. That way you don't get stuck with anything. And you'll have enough money to buy Herbert's car. What do you mean, stuck with anything? Look, you had a father. I never had a father. And they're giving away my baby. I mean, I could turn on the TV in 20 years to watch the World Series and never even know that the pitcher's my son. And what about the Super Bowl? Charles! Mm -mm. In the kitchen, Mom! Did she know you? What, are you crazy? Well... <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Elderberry. How's school? Fine. Look, I... I gotta go home now. I got an English lit test at the end of the week. Thanks for the sandwich. Oh, uh... Oh, I, uh, I got a new waterbed. Neat, huh? Very nice. Night. Good night, Jeff. No, you may not have a waterbed. Oh, look, I really have to study for that English lit test, too. Uh, Charles! I really have to study, Mom! Which baby? I'm just great. Just great. Except they're giving my baby away. Right, please just leave your test papers on my desk on the way out. I was a lot tougher than I thought it'd be. How'd you do? What? On the test. How did you do? Oh, not very well, I don't think. You mean you didn't just whiz through like you always do? Well, Charles, I forgot your test paper. Sorry. Something wrong? Wrong? What could be wrong? Well, I'm not sure, but recently you've been late, you haven't handed in your homework, you've hardly paid attention in class, and although you always are above average with your grades. You've answered less than half the questions here. Oh, all right, Charles, you can go. You're Charles, aren't you? Miss Shipley, social services. The nurse has said you've been here several times, and, well, I just put two and two together. <laughs> Could I talk to you a second? Sure. I thought you might be back tonight. Well, Daisy won't give us your last name. You are Charles, aren't you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Charles. I'm Elderberry. <sighs> Charles, I wonder if you wouldn't mind coming down to the family room with me and we could talk these things over. Daisy could join us. Sure, I guess. Good. Actually, I'm very lucky. Normally, in these cases, the father... Daisy! Come in.
Wouldn't you like to move in a little closer? No, I'm fine here. I know that what you're both interested in is the baby's family. Daisy and I are the family. Ha! Huh? Please, this will go a lot smoother if the two of you try not to fight. Daisy hasn't had an easy time of this either, Charles. Now, I, I can assure you that the adoptive family is an excellent one. In a case where the father is known, we also need his consent. You can see where Daisy signed. Just sign below. You're very lucky, you know. For the Supreme Court ruling in 1972, the father had no rights at all. Well, I'm afraid it's hardly solved the problem. Over a million teenage pregnancies last year alone. Is there some problem? You mean if I don't sign this, the baby can't be adopted and I could keep him? Oh, no. Just sign that paper so we can get this over with, please. I'm not quite sure I understand, Charles. Oh, yeah, well, I do. He just hasn't been around for nine months, that's all. He doesn't know what it's like not to be invited out to parties. Or have some of your friends not be your friends anymore. Or have to go to school pregnant because I wanted to finish out the school year. You're right. I don't know anything about that. And that's because you didn't tell me that you were pregnant. What am I, some kind of a mind reader? Daisy, sit down. I'll handle this, please. Will you just sign that piece of paper? What do you care? You don't want him. That's not true. It's just I can't take care of him, and neither can you. Oh, yeah? Well, I could. Please. Both of you. Doctor's fire to emergency. Doctor's fire to emergency. Dr. Karen, 305, long distance. Dr. Karen, 305. Charles, if you have some foolish, romantic notion that you can take care of a baby, well, why not? I mean, you just said I had the right, and he is my baby. Why shouldn't he grow up with me? I mean, it's better than strangers, isn't it? It's hardly that simple. Have you talked this over with your parents? At all? Any of it? No. But it's just my mother. I haven't had a father. Not since I was two, anyway. You're really dumb, you know that? How could I have ever slept with you? It wasn't exactly sleeping that got the two of you here. Daisy, why don't you go back to your room, okay? Gladly. You know, I really liked you, Elderberry. Never thought I'd get pregnant, though. Charles? It won't work. You're being completely unrealistic. You have no idea of the responsibility involved in taking care of a baby. Yeah, but I could learn. Look, all I want is for my baby to grow up with his father. What's wrong with that? Because you grew up without one? No. It's just that he's my baby and I want to keep him. It can't be that tough. And my mom will be there to help take care of him. In that case, I suggest that you go home and have a very long talk with your mother. And I'd like to see the two of you in my office at 2 o'clock, promptly, the day after tomorrow. Your dress is on the card. Good night, Charles. Mom, you home? The library, back by 10. Pizza in the freezer. Charles? In the kitchen. Wait, did you just get home? A little late, aren't you? So are you. Charles, I know it hasn't been easy on you. My working all day and trying to finish my college degree at night, but it's about the only way I'm going to get promoted at work. And we can use the money. Sorry. You want some milk? No, I think I'll just take a hot bath and go to bed. I'm exhausted. Mom? Hmm? Tell me about my father. Not tonight. We've been through it before. And I really don't think there's anything I haven't told you. Except why he left. 
I've told her that a hundred times. Uh, we were both young. Very young and... Married? Well, of course we were married. It's just that your father hadn't settled down yet. And he just went off, just like that? Uh, no. Nothing's quite that simple. I don't know, maybe, maybe if I'd been older myself, tried harder. But when I became pregnant, he just couldn't accept it. And to be honest, we, um, we hadn't quite planned on having a baby. Uh, you, quite so soon. They must not have liked children. Oh, I, I think you would have in time. It was just the responsibilities. We, we were living in a, in a one-bedroom place, and, and we never had enough money, and, mm. You know, for a long time, I blamed it all on myself. Anymore, I just don't know. Well, something very nice came from it, though. You were really a beautiful baby. Mom, Mom, what if you had another baby? Well, Charles, what kind of question is that? Well, not another one for you. I mean, someone else's just to take care of. Whose? Mine. I assume that there's a mother. Daisy. Miss Daisy Dallinger. Oh. Oh, my. Oh. oh. Charles! How on earth could you have done something like that? Answer me! Answer me! I'm sorry. Sorry? What difference does it make if you're sorry now? There is an innocent baby involved here. Didn't you ever think of that? No. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, have you, um... Have you considered getting married? No. I mean, we liked each other, but, uh... It's not like getting married, no. Charles, look at me. Look at me. Do you mean to tell me that you and Daisy made love to each other and just blithely forgot what might happen? How could you? What, what, what? You're old enough to make love, but you're not old enough to be responsible? What kind of sense is that? We didn't think she'd get pregnant. Oh. And besides, now all she wants to do is give the baby away. Well, perhaps that's wise. Like a stray cat or something. And what do you suggest? I want to keep it. Oh. Oh, that's ridiculous. You're 16. You haven't the slightest idea of how to take care of a baby. Look. The Supreme Court says that it's my right, and they can't give him away unless I sign that paper. No, no, it is out of the question. Oh, I see. You're not going to help me. You want the baby to grow up without a father, just like I had to. That's not fair! Look, Charles, I know that it was hard on you not growing and up what with... about my baby? What about him? I don't know. You, uh... You, you have to give me some time to think about it. But maybe... I said, we'll think about it. Mrs. Elderberry, Charles. Sit down, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Elderberry. I thought it was important that the three of us discuss this together. I assume Charles has talked to you about it? Yeah. Miss Shipley, is there, um, is there some way that we 
Might try keeping the baby for a few days. A trial period? Yeah. You see, I have some vacation time coming up work, almost a week, and I could be at home. You realize that even if the trial period was successful, some permanent arrangement would have to be made. And keeping a baby, even for a few days, can be very costly. How much would it cost? Oh, $100, perhaps? Well, Charles has almost $900 in his savings account. He could use some of that. Some of it. All of it, eventually. Do you have any idea what you'll have to get for the baby? Bottles, nipples, formula, diapers? Changes five times a day. Suppose he gets sick and, and has to go to the doctor. I don't know about your doctor, but mine charges $25 a visit. All right. I'll let you try it for a week. But I have serious reservations. I'm not at all sure you can handle this, Charles. You're wrong. You'll see. I hope so, Charles. Charles, take a look at the new car. Oh, which means the old one over there is all yours. Herbert, I can't buy the car. What do you mean you can't? Yes, I can't buy the car. Hey, who's parked in your driveway? Miss Shipley. Baby, you're out of your mind. Hi, honey. <laughs> Would you like to hold him? Yeah. All right, here you go. I just support his head. Don't be afraid. You got him. That's it. Oh. Whoops. I, I think you better take all him right, back. All right, all right. Don't panic here. I've got him. There we go. See? He's neat, huh? Yeah, neat. Look, I have to go home. Dinner's ready, and, well, it looks like you're going to be busy, so. Look, Jeff. Thanks. For bringing you home? You never thanked me before. No, about the baby. About sticking with me. You may not have your share of brains, but <laughs> see you tomorrow. All right. And don't forget to study for the math test. You're going to need more disposable diapers. Well, you got to be kidding. You know how much just one of those boxes? Oh, that's just the start, Charles. Oh, he won't be eating this junior food for months. I don't see the formula anywhere. Oh, I, I got some of that today. Oh. And bottles. Well, then I'll be going. <laughs> Thank you. He's really special, isn't he? Smart, too. Superior, probably. Do you like Wolf? Wolf, for a name, in case he's a quarterback or something. Wolf Felderberry. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Good night, Charles. Hey, hey, little guy. Look, I got one heck of a test tomorrow. Did you warm it up, Charles? No, I guess I forgot. Sorry. Well, you better get a clean diaper and change it. Unless you can't handle it. Oh, I can handle it. Just I've got a really big test tomorrow, and I... Well, you just should have thought about that before... All right. All right, you go to bed. But the rest of the week, you're going to have to do it.
Charles, I think that you and I better have a little talk. About what? Now, I go back to work at the beginning of next week. And yeah, look, I've made a decision. Uh, I'm going to quit school. And, um... And do what? No, you will not quit school. Your grades are bad enough as it is. But I'm going to get a full-time job. You couldn't even keep a part-time job at Farley's. Oh, that's just great. That's great. I've got enough trouble without you on my back, too. Charles, I... I gotta get to school. Charles? It, it isn't true, is it? I mean, everybody's talking, but... You don't really have a baby, do you? Yeah, I do. And he's great. I have a picture. Hey, tonight's your party, isn't it? Uh, what time? Well, if you still can come, it's at my house. About any time, I guess. Of course I can still come. I'm looking forward to it. Greatly. Baby and I are at Mrs. Walker's. Well, that's good, because I have a party. Let the good times roll. Federation Starfighter. I'll get you next time, Death Warrior. <laughs> Charles! Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. I'm coming to your party. Charles! Um, hi, Mom. I think you forgot what night this is. Oh, no, I haven't. Tonight is Lucy Twining's birthday party. I have a class tonight. Yeah, I guess I did forget what night it is. But this party's really important. Are you, are you saying that you don't want to take care of the baby? No. It's just you could miss your class just this once to take care of him. No, not the one tonight. Mom, she'll never invite me again if I don't come. Well, then I'm sorry. Please? Look, now I have to go. There's formula in the fridge, and I'll put him to bed. He should sleep till I get back. Honey, I, I really am sorry that you're going to have to miss your party. I can't believe this is happening to me. Hey, hey, what's wrong? Hey, I can't be that bad. Oh, boy, you smell awful. How can anything as cute as you smell so bad, huh? See, what you need is a nice, New clean diaper. Hang on, hang on. It's gonna be okay. Hang on. I'll be right back. Hey, hey. Hey, now, look. It's a nice di diaper here. Come on, hold still. Hold still! I'm sorry, I yelled. Maybe you're hungry. I'll be right back. Just be quiet, please. Drive me up a wall. Daisy didn't want you. I'm your father. Do you understand that?
you shut up? Will you shut up? I got halfway there before I drove back. I can't do it, Charles. I cannot bring up another baby alone. And I won't. Not again. It's just not the way I thought it would be. I know. I just wanted him to have a father. He will, Charles. It just won't be you. I'm sorry. I know you are, Charles. That doesn't fix it, though, does it? 